In this problem, we're told an ordinary workshop grindstone has a radius of 7.5 centimeters and rotates at 6,500 revolutions per minute. A. Calculate the magnitude of the centripetal acceleration at its edge in meters per second squared and convert it into multiples of g. And then B. What is the linear speed of a point on its edge? So what we have here is this grindstone. Its radius is 7.5 centimeters. And they give us the angular velocity omega, which is 6,500 revolutions per minute. And so let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, what we're trying to find is the centripetal acceleration. So in order to do this, you need to know the formula for it, which is a sub c is equal to omega times r squared over r. So this is the formula you use to solve for centripetal acceleration. And uh, what we need to do now is we know omega, right? But we need it in radians per second. And then the radius has to be in meters when we solve this. So what we have to do is convert the radius into meters. And then we have to convert this into radians per second. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's start with omega. So 6,500 6, revolutions per minute. We know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. So that's converting from revolutions to radians. So now we have it in radians per minute, but we want it in radians per second. So we got to convert from minutes to seconds. We know one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So that'll cancel the minutes. Now we have radians per second. So what you want to do is 6,500. Uh, 6,500 times 2 pi and then divide by 60. And when you do that, you're going to get 680.6784. So 6784, and then it's going to be in radians per second. So now we have the angular velocity in the correct units. Then we need the radius in the correct units. So 7.5 centimeters. We want to convert it into meters, so there's 100 centimeters for every 1 meter. So you just divide by 100, and when you do that, you get 0 0.075 meters. So this is going to be uh, the radius in the correct units. We have omega, and so now what we can do is just plug in. So a sub c is going to be equal to omega, which is 680.675. Uh, squared all over the radius which is 0 0.075 so go ahead and plug this in and then you'll get that it equals or a sub c is equal to three four seven four nine point two three two one six so keep in mind this is going to be in meters per second squared so what you can do is just round so one two three four so it's going to be three three point four seven times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared. So I use a bit of a rounded version 2 when I did this. You might get a little bit of a different answer, but it's going to be about 3.47 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared. But what they want you to do is convert it into Gs. So in order to convert from Gs, we have, let me just rewrite it, so 3.47 times 10 to the 4 meters per second squared. So you need to know 1G is equal to 9.81 meters per second. So to convert, we just divide by 9.81 meters per second squared. That'll cancel that out. And then we just have g's on top. So I'm going to use this more exact number when I divide instead of this. So you want to take that and divide by 9.81. And you're going to get it equals about, or it's going to be equal to 3542.2255. And then this is going to be in g's now. So all we did was take this and divide by 9.81. So it's going to be about 3542g. So 3,542 Gs, that's going to be your answer to A, right? Because they want it in Gs. So that's A. Now let's move to B. So B is what is the linear speed of a point on its edge? So you're trying to solve for linear speed. And the way you do that is by using this formula right here. V, or the linear velocity, is equal to its angular velocity, or omega, times its radius. So we know the angular velocity. We solved for that in the last problem. So it's just 680.6784 times the radius. So we know the radius is uh, 0 0.075 meters. So go ahead and plug this in, 680.6784 times 0 0.075. And when you do that, you're going to get it equals, uh, or V is equal to 51.05. So I'm just going to round to 51. So 51 meters per second, because it's linear. So 51 meters per second, that's going to be the linear speed of a point on its edge. So this is your answer to B. 
this was your answer to A, and yeah. So these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.